So there's a video of me playing a family man going out on the road with his kids. And he gets pulled over by an aggressive police officer. And the police officer is so aggressive that the character I play uh, is being pulled out of the car unwillingly. So he pulls out a firearm and he fires a self-defense lethal shot at the officer for reasons that the officer is angry. He already has a gun. His friends are going to show up and just start shooting. If he gets, and if the character I play gets beat up in front of his family, then he's going to go to jail and he's going to sit in jail and his life's going to get destroyed anyway. And, you know, if he fights back, he might get more time and battery of an officer. So his life's gone at that point anyway. Okay. And it's kind of not the same thing happened to me, but that that's happened. You know, that happens because cops are not perfect. And when people watch this video, they, they don't see that the cop is out of control and he's angry and he's going to hurt the guy, you know, and they don't see that part of the situation. So what happens is that the judgment is terrible. Okay. And people say that I hate cops because of that video and that's not true at all and uh you know whether they need to hear it or not people need to wake up to this kind of stuff uh just the same as people need to wake up to you know cannabis use in contrast to cigarettes prescription pills and alcohol you know all these things we need a better new free will way of life at this point because we are educated and aware of all these things so uh, with all due respect i don't hate police officers um, and i think a lot of people are hypocritical and scared of you know the idea of someone else's principle but when you're sitting in jail someone else's principle based on a piece of plastic of due process categorization like a license or a hypocritical thing like weed, you know, or a double standard that the badge is always right. That's not going to matter when you're sitting behind bars and you can't talk to your family and your life is going down tubes and you may be suffering personal injury and you're going to have court battles and lose hundreds of thousands of dollars, <laughs> and, you know, to try and stay free. Uh, with all that stress, you don't know what you're talking about unless you've actually dealt with that. So, um, it's, we got a lot to learn about this world, but when people don't educate themselves and open their minds to other people around them, they draw a conclusion, and it's dangerous for me um, because people just assume that I'm this bad character that hates on police, but I'm just trying to help solve a problem because it's the white elephant in the room. You know, it's the black elephant in the room. It's the pink elephant in the room. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. So, survive that.